Imagine a boy, barely a teenager, lying in a hospital bed in sun-soaked India. His eyes, wide with fear, stare up at the white ceiling, a battle raging within. Sickness, a cruel beast, claws at his frail body, whispering doubts like icy fangs. Is there anything beyond this life? Does purpose bloom even in the shadow of death? This boy, this fragile warrior, was Ravi Zacharias, and his story is a testament to the ember of faith that can spark a wildfire of hope, even in the darkest night. Ravi wasn't like most church kids. Faith wasn't a worn sweater he pulled on every Sunday. It was a riddle wrapped in a mystery, its answers elusive and often frustrating. Then tragedy struck. The illness, a hungry monster, threatened to steal his life. But in that desperate hour, a simple message, a whisper of hope, touched his soul. God loves you. It was a tiny spark, a flicker against the encroaching darkness, but it was enough. Ravi clung to it, devouring the pages of the Bible, not for answers, but for stories. He saw lives transformed, broken hearts mended, communities built on the bedrock of belief. Slowly, like a sunflower turning towards the sun, Ravi's own faith blossomed. He realized doubt wasn't a dead end, but a bridge leading to a deeper understanding, echoing the truth whispered in Romans 8.31, if God is for us, who can be against us? The fact of the matter is, God has revealed himself to us at all times and ultimately through his son. This newfound certainty wasn't meant to be a secret treasure, hoarded and cherished. It ignited a fire within him, a passion to share the light he'd found with others lost in the shadows. He studied diligently, honing his craft, and in 1971, his true journey began. He wasn't a timid scholar, cloistered in dusty libraries. He stepped into the heart of war-torn Vietnam, his voice echoing in bomb-scarred fields and prison cells alike. His words weren't weapons of war, but seeds of hope sown on the battlefields of doubt. Returning to Canada, a land of maple trees and gentle snow, he embarked on a path of ministry. He wasn't a distant preacher, booming from atop a pulpit. He was a storyteller, weaving tales of faith that resonated in bustling college halls and quiet church pews alike. His logic was sharp, a knife cutting through confusion. His wit was a disarming smile, melting away skepticism and his compassion, a warm blanket, offering solace to weary souls. You are a person with a DNA, and God's image is on you in a general sense. But Ravi's calling wasn't confined to the comfort of familiar borders. In 1974, he ventured into the heart of suffering Cambodia, the air thick with the stench of conflict. His time there was tragically short, cut short by the rise of a brutal regime. Yet, even in that harrowing crucible, Ravi planted seeds of hope that refused to wither. If you're a praying Christian, your faith in God will carry you. If you're not a praying Christian, you will have to carry your faith and you'll get exhausted. Back in Canada, he built a school to nurture future generations of faith warriors. He became a sought-after speaker, his voice captivating audiences across the globe. From the hallowed halls of Oxford to the dusty streets of Mumbai, his message transcended cultures and languages, a bridge connecting hearts across barriers. Ravi's impact wasn't just measured by eloquent speeches. He understood that faith without action was a barren field. He established Ravi Zakaria's International Ministries Arzim, a beacon of hope in a world drowning in despair. From battling poverty in Africa to promoting interfaith dialogue in the Middle East, Arzim became a living testament to the transformative power of love in action. Do you know of one event in the world where these four converged? I said they converged on the cross of Jesus Christ. Today, Ravi's legacy shines brighter than ever. His books, translated into over 80 languages, have touched millions, offering intellectual and spiritual sustenance. His debates with atheists and scholars ignited conversations that pushed the boundaries of faith and reason. He challenged people to think, to question, and ultimately, to choose hope over doubt. Ravi Zacharias wasn't a perfect man, but he was a man who wrestled with his doubts and emerged stronger, his faith a diamond forged in the fires of introspection. His story reminds us that darkness doesn't extinguish hope. It illuminates the path toward a brighter dawn. As he himself proclaimed, quoting the Bible, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So, the next time doubt whispers its poisonous lies, remember Ravi. Remember that a flicker of faith, nurtured with courage and action, can light the way through any darkness. Go forth, find your own fire, and become a beacon of hope in the world around you. For in the tapestry of life, even the smallest thread, woven with faith and action, can create a breathtaking masterpiece of purpose and joy. Feeling inspired by Ravi's journey? Share this spark and hit that like button. More tales of faith and purpose await subscribe and stay lit.